Welcome back! Today I have something very very cute for you. Tiny but cute. Today we will animate the border of, of things. Okay? Look at this beautiful hover effect. The second thing is, at this, at this case you can see that we have two lines moving in parallel but we will also see the options to have only one as you can see right here it's really magic and it's so 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 simple you won't believe it all right so let's see this is the editor of course uh, let's make it smaller um, something like this all right so we will build it from scratch and it's super easy. I'll create a new section from top. Let's make it, for now, let's make it white. And I'll show you the concept and then we will, uh, we will continue from there. All right, so the first thing that we need is a container. Let's make it square for now. Um, 200 pixels by 200 pixels. Okay, this is a cute container. Great. The second thing is uh, we need is um, an another container which will contain the border effect. Okay, I'm and I'll put it inside our own um, the the square container. All right, so we have now two containers. I'll set it to be 100% for now. And let's make it fixed, um, 50 pixels. Great. The all concept is by rotating this shape, this container. Okay, so just for now, I'll add a um, loop animation for this container and make it spin just like this okay great now the second thing uh, the next thing that we are going to do is to just for now let's take um, another container you know what no let's leave it this way now, we want to have um, content here and this, this color should be the animated border, the, the fake animated border. So let's create another container, okay, that is with, with exactly the same color of this square container. So I'll match the color okay and i'll give it a name this will be the uh, content wrapper okay so this will be the uh how do i call it main wrapper this will be uh rotate shape Okay, so now I'll drag this container inside this container. Now here is a quick tip. When you drag an element on top of a repeater, but you don't want it to go inside of it, just click escape. Okay, so I want this container to be child of the main wrapper, but not the rotate shape. So let's drag it inside and I simply stretch it. Okay, so now we have two layers. We have the rotate shape and we have the content wrapper on top of it. The next thing is that I'm going to do, I will add padding to the main wrapper and the, pad the padding basically is the amount of pixels between the wrapper and and the content, the main wrapper and the content wrapper. So let's see an example. 
so I'll do something big for now 20 pixels okay something like this so now you can see that our content wrapper is pushed outside is because it has a uh, sorry wait oh it's it's because the rotate shape has minimum height it sets to be a hundred percent but it actually it has 200 pixels height so let's change it to what if far and this is weird let's bring it to top maybe it's the yeah it's the main wrapper so let's change it to be one fr okay great so height 20 uh 200 pixels with 200 pixels so right now we have the content wrapper that should be on top of the shape let's keep it this way right now okay so I'll just give a different color okay so you can see this is the main wrapper this is the content wrapper and this is the rotate shape so now I'll make this container bigger okay something like this okay so if and and the content wrapper let's make it on top so if I'll preview my site right now so it looks something like this this shape is rotating okay it's super super simple the reason uh, okay uh, I'll talk about it in, in a second so the next thing that we need to do is to take the main wrapper and set everything that is go outside that is overlap hide it so overflow content hide now let's preview it again so now you can see that the shape is rotating and because we have some padding so it's visible only in this part now let's add some border radius so I am selecting the main wrapper let's create um, a corner of 20 pixels for this example let's select the inner part also I'll set it to 16 pixels something like this and now it starts to look like an animated border okay not really but if I make the padding much much smaller uh, let's make it four pixels so now it looks like animated border right super nice so this is the start if we would like to have only one uh, right now is is two lines right if we we want to have only one line so all we need to do is to make the content wrapper sorry the rotate shape much smaller no actually it won't um, it won't be good so the thing that we need to do is to why can I drag it I'll cut it for a second and paste it right here okay so if we want to have only one part so we need to change something we need to uh, I'll duplicate this part okay and I'll remove the loop because we don't really need it so I'll remove the background color from the rotted shape and put inside of it another container that is uh, used only for the color and I'll set it to be 50% height okay so now uh, I can I'll cut it again and paste it inside our main wrapper okay and this is important the height of of the rotor shape right now it's the rotor shape container must be at least sorry not at least but uh, if this container is 200 pixels so it should be at least 200 pixels so if I'll set it to be 200 pixels sorry the, the exact height is, is not enough because if 
when it's rotating so the distance from the center to the top is different from the uh, from the center to to one of the corners because this distance is, is longer so we need to make it bigger so for example 250 pixels um, it's right now if it will rotate it will be good so but you can see that uh, I set this container to be bigger than its own parent but it should be perfectly at the center so what should we do in that case so simply we can add margin so I can add minus a hundred percent from top and a hundred percent sorry and a hundred percent from bottom so right now it's perfectly in the middle I can see that this height changed it was 50 percentage so let's bring it back so you can see that this is in the exact center of the main wrapper so right now I need to just change the order of elements and now if I preview it you can see that we have only one element is rotating okay this is a great example look what's happening that the shape the height is not big enough so it's cut in the edges so we, we need to make it much big much uh, higher so let's change it to 300 pixels uh, it, it, it always go on the safe side it's, it doesn't cost you anything uh, and I just need to make sure that this stays 50% I'll set it to be minimum also maybe it will always work so let's give it um, a preview again so now right now it should be much more precise as you can see right now so this is the way um, the both ways to create the um, the animating the border now this is important if your shape is not perfectly square so this line will move much faster at the corners I'll, I'll show you an example so let's take the main wrapper and set it to be 400 pixels okay so it looks something like this and now I need to make my rotate shape much much higher because uh, longer because it should cover from from the center to one of the edges so let's make it uh, now I'm switching to percentage so let's set it to be 200 percent maybe even 500 I don't I, I don't really care it's it doesn't cost me anything and now uh, I'll set it to be minus a hundred percent okay and the inner shape should be 50 percent always great so now look what's happened so we can see the shape right and it's rotating from the middle but because the distance here it's it's uh, much longer so this area will move much much faster only the center part the um, yeah the linear part will take slow so let's see this is the regular speed and then you can see what's happened at the edges it's it's like taking much more speed because it's actually rotating um, but it's still a very very nice effect um, okay so in my example you can see that the line is not sharp as as I did in this example right this is like a solid line uh, so the way to achieve it is simply by adding some gradient so if I go to I, I love this tool CSS gradient um, so you can choose your colors okay for for this example let's match uh, the exact color that we have right here so let's take this one and I'll start from from uh, the beginning that you can do exactly what I did 
So I'll match same colors, okay? They, they are exactly the same, but one of them are fully transparent, okay? So this is will create the tail that you see right here. You see, it's like there is a tail, um, very, very uh, sleek. So this way um, you can create um, this tail, this gradient. Now I simply uh, select the inner the inner container which with the colors right it's this one let's call it uh, color um, rotate shape color and just for this example this is a stupid 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 name but let's call it color and now I can create my class called color and paste my gradient right there. Okay, let's close it. You see, this is color and this is the gradient that I copied from this website. By the way, if you toggle this max um, compatibility, it will cover everything like any browser. So it's better to use this one. Uh, and you can see immediately in the editor that it, this is now much nicer, right? So if we'll go to preview, uh, what's up? Preview. So you can see like it's much more smooth. Um, and and the, if we will, oh, so, okay. It's better to not be exactly the same color as um, as the the main and the uh, uh, rotate shape, sorry, content wrapper, because you should see the difference. So let's make it much darker. Both. Oh, this one with opacity. Okay. So now because. Uh, the gradient is lighter, so the effect is uh, more noticeable. So you can see it like this. Super cute. Um, so right now it's it's. Um, um, I want to change the color for this one. Um, so right now the color is very. How do I say it is? Um, oh, it, sorry. Right now it's open. It's it's played always. Didn't I copy it? Oh, sorry. I should do this. Um, I'm changing the gradient again. So now it's changed. And let's make it uh, black for now oh my god you can barely see it um maybe this background should be dark also oh my god actually this is also a cool effect because if i put some text here in my content wrapper um so let's change it to be this color it will be 20 pixels and let's set it to be center and like 30 pixels okay so now we will get I, I didn't plan it but if I'll go to preview so now we have oh my god this is so cute it's like uh, rotating around some text or content which is super super nice of course you can control the speed by changing the speed right here uh, so if it will take three seconds it will be much much faster yeah super cool okay so so if you like to make it um, um, make it work uh, only on hover it's super simple just for now I'll add the uh, border so we can see so we can see the borders border 
Great. So right now, if you like to make it um, um, work only on hover, so you can go and select the main wrapper, add a hover effect. Let's go to with custom. And now I'll select the rotate shape, make it um, hidden on the initial state and the on the hover state it will be visible 100% of the opacity and and this way so if I'm hovering this container so the animate the element is start animating actually I didn't I didn't think about this design before and it's super super nice Maybe I'll use it. Uh, let's go to the border and let's just want to test something. Let's bring it back. Now I'll match the color. This one should be. No, this one should be transparent. Copy it right here. Change it back to this thing. And now it should. Ah, oh, this is nice. I think it, if it will be like the exact color of the border, it, it will be much, much nicer. So the point is, is that we build it in 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 the way that you can put any content inside the content wrapper and and it will work so if you build the fund fundamental um, in the right way so you can actually put any uh, anything that you want right here um, I didn't set the overflow to the content wrapper so let's set it to be hidden. and now we will have the border radius. So now any content that we put there, it will look amazing. Um, so let's try it. So we have this globe and if we will hover it, we will have this too much fast effect, but super, super cool. So the way I did it here is, is a simply a repeater with three items. And you can see that here we have padding of three pixels. And with, exact, with exactly the same effect I created, exactly the same. This is the first example that I showed you. Um, is, um, is animating on hover. All right, so that's it and keep building amazing sites on Wix Studio.